Good evening, and on behalf of the entire Maroon Tiger staff, welcome to Tiger TV, Morehouse College's first television news program. This is truly a historic moment, and we thank you for joining us. Yes, and for this premiere episode, we have a full slate of features, including a profile of the CASA and an interview with the leaders of the SGA, as well as highlights and analysis from this week's football game. But first, the news. Hurricane Ike is on the move and disrupting life in more states than just Texas. Outside of the damage that now resides in Austin, Houston, and other cities, gas prices are affected in Georgia and Florida and have risen by more than a dollar in some cities. Sonny Perdue, governor of Georgia, has signed an order to stop gas price gouging and ease the price suffering being experienced by residents here. However, authorities in Texas are saying that many lives were saved and most people were able to be evacuated immediately following warning of the hurricane's expected presence. According to Dr. Greg Hall, the political science department at Morehouse is barely staying afloat. The department has been crippled by staff losses and is working to hire spring adjunct professors to fill the void left by three departed Morehouse professors. In a meeting on Monday, Hall told the students he hopes school administration will increase funding for political science in order to return the, depart the department to full capacity. In the meantime, Hall says, students must demand accountability from him, the registrar, and Morehouse. The Maroon Tiger has interviewed iconic fashion designer Tommy Hilfiger after attending a Linux Mall event sponsored by Macy's and his company. Hilfiger, who recently gave a $5 million donation to the MLK Foundation, says that he visited Atlanta to debut his new fragrance. The designer also answered questions about false allegations that he once made racist remarks, joking that the rumors were probably started by one of his competitors. In our first feature, Jeff McHenry profiles CASA, one of Morehouse's newest organizations. For insight, Jeff sits down with Dr. Raphael Moffitt and Warren Chancellor. With the recent sudden appearance of the organization known as CASA on Morehouse's campus, it seemed like there were a lot of questions as to what the organization really is. I decided to hit the streets of the beloved Hump Wednesday and ask the students for some answers. What is CASA? Uh, all I know is CASA is now a separate entity of SGA. Something to deal with student activities on a campus and a... Um, uh, I miss like some kind of award thing. I'm not sure what CASA is. This is the first time I actually heard about it. Unsatisfied with my results, I continued on my quest for knowledge. I took a trip over to Mays Hall to sit down with advisor Raphael Moffitt and the co-chair of CASA, Warren Chancellor. I asked some questions as to what CASA really was as an organization. My first question was, what is CASA? Um, CASA is the new programming board. Uh, CASA stands for Campus Alliance for Student Activities. Now what our goal is to, is to assist uh, not only student services, but other student organizations around campus. Um, how will CASA kind of interact with SGA, with, other, with Pulse, or other programming boards in terms of kind of how the events are going to be placed on our campus? But specifically with the SGA, I know that uh, we are separate, but we do work with each other. Um, there is a liaison on the SGA who is um, also an extension of the board. Um, with Pulse, we've already set up relationships with Pulse and we'll be interacting with them. So you'll see collaborations with programs throughout the semester with Pulse. Um, are there any plans to kind of let the student body decide some of the members that are going to be on the board or in terms of like maybe an election process or something of that nature? Or is it just going to be specifically application? Uh, there won't be an election. This is not a political runoff. You know, I want to be clear. Um, students who want to work in a programming capacity can apply to do the job. What are kind of some specific examples of some of the special events you guys have in place? I encourage everyone to visit www.morehousecasa.com uh, to view all the features on the website. There's a blog, there's feature events, there's CASA points. You can check your CASA points online. At any event we hold or we co-sponsor, you'll be able to sign up and register for CASA points. Uh, there's also a lot of other things that we're planning that I encourage everyone to take a look at the look, uh, website. After talking with some students and meeting with CASA administrators, I got the chance to understand what CASA truly is. Through it all, it sounds like CASA will truly redefine campus life here at Morehouse College. For the full interview, please visit TheMaroonTiger.com. This is Jeffrey McHenry, signing off.